Welcome to step number five on the Fired Up Path. And step number five is discipline activation. This is essential. All the steps are really. You've got to have discipline. To activate your discipline, the best approach is to write down all of the um, habits that you need to put in place in order to achieve your goal. The power of um, achieving your goal comes from consistent actions. So what is it that you can do every day? So um, you're thinking definitely I would do mindset work in the morning, you know, to really get you in that mindset of the being that leader that you've ignited. And then what are the um, steps that are going to um, help you to achieve your vision, the actions that you need to take? Write them down and schedule them in your calendar. And your calendar needs to be your boss. Stick to that calendar. It's hard to stick to it 100% of the time, but decide to commit to it 100%. And then if you commit, if you're there 80% of the time, that's that's already great. Because yes, life happens. And sometimes uh, we have to reprior reprioritize our day. We've got to be a little bit flexible. But in general, the more structured your approach is, um, and you know, to take care of your health, decide, you schedule it in. What activities are you are you going to put in there? What time of the day are you going to do them? Do them at the same time every day. It's best to stack your habits. Yeah. So I drop my daughter to the train station for school and then I go to the gym, for example, on my gym days. You know, it's like they're stacked on top of each other. I uh, that, but before I do that, I'll meditate in the mornings. And um, so I'm. it's all routines that I'm used to. It's just part of my day. So think about how you want to schedule your day and take it very, very seriously. It's a really important part of self-leadership mastery is having a schedule and keeping to it. Be careful not to put too many things on it because it's just 24 hours in the day. So look at what can you outsource, what can you shave off, what is not necessary and uh, apply the Pareto principle. So um, it's 20% of your actions are going to give you 80% of your results. So look at what are the top 20% of actions, it's usually relationship building um, that's going to give you the result that you want. And often we avoid the actions that are the most impactful because they're outside of our comfort zone. But you are here to um, ignite your inner leader, to revolutionize your thinking, and to become that leader that you want to be. So schedule it all in and keep to your schedule. What I would say is to after a few weeks to evaluate it and look, if you're not managing to keep to your schedule, then it just needs to be modified. And maybe it takes a bit longer to achieve a certain milestone. And also you don't need to know all the exact path to get to there. What you need is your next step in detail. And then your next step will reveal itself. And then the next step. So you, you've got to trust all of that and not feel overwhelmed. Just what is the next step I need to take? Always forward motion. So um, identify the, the milestone. Typically 12 weeks is a good amount of time and um, achieve that goal. And then you reevaluate. Again, if you work with a coach, if you're working with me, I will help you to really fine tune that and make sure that you um, uh, keep to it because that's the important thing as well. Discipline brings freedom. Also schedule in some downtime and that's where you can really relax and rejuvenate. That's super important part of the process too. Got any questions? Don't hesitate to reach out to me.